Hello everyone, it's that boy Josh here on another video on how to block up your balance shaft plugs. Um, you need to make yourself up some little caps for your bearings. Here's two aluminium little caps here. One's for the back bearing and then the larger one is for the front one. They're just a little bit different in diameter. The point of the balance shafts for the Saab was just to, to make the engine a little bit more comfortable and less loud but we're not bothered about that. In order to get the first bearing in what this one here, you're gonna have to make yourself up a tool like this if you don't want to take out the back oil cap. So I'm gonna try and fit this one now. Hopefully we don't get no issues. Just going to get the other smaller one mark up on this shaft here the position just so i know when i've knocked in it far enough So I've just knocked the back bearing in now. Oh, you actually can see it there. See? I'll try and get a torch on it. Oh, put a little bit of light in there. See, you can see that one's covered up now. Now to cover this little front one here. As I was knocking that one in as well, I see my thermostat fly off. So I need to put the housing on after, just to make sure it won't come off again. Uh, we'll not build one in actually, at the back. So I've just got the other back one in there, as you can see. Now, try, now you can get the front ones in. If you make these off the same aluminium round bar, then you can just use the same diameter, like so, pop it back on. Little shunt friend first. I've just made up this alley bar instead. The front ones. Make sure the back's okay. There's no little shavings in there. But there isn't. That's looking right to me. Now the same for the other side. Make sure you get all of that aluminium shavings away. I probably made them a little bit oversized but that's all right because it's pushing out and spreading out. There's no aluminium in the back anyway it's just shaved off and come off the other sides there so I'm happy with that. So that's all four oil ways covered there. You need to cover this one here as well which you can just get the tensioner and just make a little template. Here's one I've made. So what you want to do now is just put a little bit of sealant around that. I'm just using this Ilamar gasket joint, joint in compound. So I'm going to lock tight it as well. This just helps hold the uh, bolts in there. 
Make sure it doesn't rattle loose. So I was going to put these in after just to cover these up but I don't think you really need it to be honest with you. I'm covering up the four jackets, two at the back, two at the front and this jacket here with a little seed and compound. You don't need to cover up this pulley here, not this pulley sorry, this oil hole because there's not one there. It's for the other model which has a pulley like I just got muddled up with. What you'll also need to do actually is this runs along here with the balance shafts. It's just like the tension guide. You need to just, as it's like a little spacer for the timing cover, I'll grab it. It's what that rests off there. Um, if you don't put it there, it will just rattle around a little bit, this wheel. So I've just made a little spacer up out of that guide bracket like we've just seen. And that's what it looks like to have my focus. That just goes on there. Who's that boy? Josh, 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 Who's that boy? Josh, 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 Josh. I've got little floats. Just before I put a cover on, I'm just going to stone this face. Just get rid of that paint. A little bit of paint that went over on the surface. Through masking tape. Before you go and put this on, you want to be sealing all of this around here. Obviously, I'm just going to quickly stone this off. So as you can see, I've just sealed up all of the mating faces on the timeline cover. With gasket sealant. As I've just found out, you probably find yourself two bolts short. So you'll have to cut yourself up some new bolts and then uh, make, it, make them for the chain guide. Metal chain go to the bottom. So we're going to put this sprocket on here, steel. That's off the balance shaft, but that's minimal risk of breaking it off. And obviously, that's minimal risk of breaking off and smashing anything else, or doing taking this chain out. And then we're going to put this back on as well. And there you go. You've still got the required space and you need, so it meets the time and cover. The oil pump, I think it is. So I'm just going to put this on now. Trying to avoid damaging the head gasket. I'll just pull it in evenly. I'm just going to get the time and cover bolt on the top here. I'll lock tight these after. I just want to get them in just before the sealant sets. It's that nice, these are looking polished up. I've got sealant all over it, as you can see.
just give it a bit of a spray. So there we have it guys, thanks for watching my abundant shaft removal, like, comment and subscribe, take care.